Well, if I were to recommend a method and we all could fly, we could simply go in from the top and go down. Simply find a blind spot that they're not looking at and uh, go up right. I mean, that works for you. I think we need to try and sneak in between patrols. Right. A little bit problematic. Is it? Is it? What is it, though? I mean, this one looks pretty sneaky, and you can get up over their heads. <coughs> I have an idea. The only one problematic would be probably me. I think I can do it. And of course, uh, sneaking in, we might end up making noise if we bump into the figure inside and he doesn't like us. I think we can take care of one old guy. Aye. One bridge as we come to it. First, first bridge is the getting in. I measure everything in bridges, by the way. Uh, so how do you uh, as, as is tradition. Some very yes. uniform bridges you have there. Yes. You know, the measurements. That bridge is at least one bridge. Well, fortunately, I can't at least keep myself quiet, so at least I'm not a problem. So, nighttime then, or...? Seems to be the best time. Uh, nighttime is, uh, you know, will at least hide obvious visuals, but, um, that place was guarded both day and night. Uh, the dog guys didn't don't necessarily have night vision, but they were all, you know, they were chosen as dogs because they were all skilled trackers. Well, I mean, not only do I have night vision, I'm also a night cycle creature, so it just behooves me to be around during the time that I'm normally awake. Right. Yeah. Uh, sure. is, there any, uh, is there any way to uh, mask our scent using magic? Well, first thing you do is I pee on you, and then you pee on me. Well, I can mask uh, your sound, but not your scent. Um, it's possible to um, attempt to use searching and supernatural and tracking to hide your spore uh, after you've been through an area, yes. My but spore? That, uh, that the scent trail you leave behind because you're constantly uh, sweating and shedding fur. Oh, okay. Um, uh, basically, the scent trail that you leave behind. You know, when you, you know, in Zelda, when you shift to that mode, it shows you the big pink particle trail. Follow this. Um, yeah. So it is possible to use magic to try and boost that, but like really. That's another assist rule in the game, where he would make a supernatural roll, and then you, if it, if it passed, you'd roll an extra d8. And then also as you standing around doing mumble mumble, which also, by the way, might set off any... You didn't see any magical defenses, and those guys didn't look magically um, observant. But they looked like highly trained guards, and they looked like they were skilled finders. So they're... But... Um, not only are they sentries, you don't know if they're trained in supernatural. So in other words, if you, even though you can use magic to assist your sneaking, that lets them use their supernatural to spot signs of magical tampering. Great if they don't have supernatural, terrible if they do. And this tower is a little bit of serious business, so it, it's, it's pretty probable. Why There's don't at least you uh, go, one get career that, the uh, go get that go dead body. Of the guy you killed and threw in the water, we'll just put ourselves. We'll just cut ourselves in his blood. The place is filled with dead people, as far as we know. Uh, I'm going to assume that even cheaper than that, you guys could just cover yourself uh, in myrrh or some other sort of perfume and <coughs> stealth up and not worry about it. I assume you take the proper precautions. That is true. This is what. Medieval times, or whatever yeah. powder yeah. they put on corpses, so the corpses don't yeah, stink that much. Should have corpses to make sure it don't stink that bad. I mean, I'll I'll let, I'll let people in. Um, um, I don't know if you guys. I I have too many windows open, so I have the stream chat open. But I'm sure later people will suggest different things to hide your sense. Roll around in chalk, you know that sort of thing. Where do we leave chalk footprints? Um. Uh, okay. Would simply falling off the ground actually kind of prevent that? Yeah, I, um, I, I leave the... Va uh, I, I have not been bow hunting in 20 years, guys, so I don't remember any of this. And I didn't hunt by sense of smell right. either. I got a good idea. We'll tunnel. Well, none of you... Do any of you actually have digging? I think foxes get digging. 
No, we have jumping because we're red foxes. And climbing. I, I, I have digging as a skill I could get later. I was considering it, but uh, no, I don't. Yes, the bird well, is going to dig a hole for us. Elementalism does allow you to shape, and there's even like advanced earth magic allows you specifically shape crafting. Yes, the, curse the gaps in my study here right now. The tower itself is in the middle of the city. All of the ground that you walked on was um, stone. Was dirt on rock. Yes. Um, th this is the river valley. So um, if it, um, the, I mean, sorry, this is the Delton Valley. So uh, there, it, it, there's not a lot of good farm here. Okay, what about... Oh, actually, no, sorry, let me repeat that, because that made no sense. They built the city on the parts that wasn't good to farm on. Yes, they built this city on rock and roll. Probably also, rock. digging at all will probably immediately lead into the water table, and then it's like, oh, here's the tunnel I just dug. Ah, oh, oh, well, now we're swimming. Well, it's funny that you mentioned that, because the Iron Claw setting has a lot of critters in it that have digging, mm -hmm. which means... And also, there is a tradition in um, many medieval city, you know, like, like it's the Middle Ages. It's like, I need to build a house. Why should I build a house when you just dig a pit and live in the pit? This is awesome. It's cooler down here because, you know, <laughs> it's insulated, you know, and yeah. uh, I might be a burrowing creature anyway. So I'm glad you asked that. The tower itself is built on rocky ground, which means that it isn't easy to burrow into. Uh, also, the Delton Valley, the higher parts that the city is built on, the plateaus, uh, usually have cisterns in them where they can store water uh, in case they need it during the non-flooding seasons. And, of course, there's places in the city that have drainage to deal with when the river floods. Rare, but it happens. Well, well, not even, like, about flooding, but, like, the ground itself has a certain amount of water within it and so when you dig into that it'll just automatically kind of fill up right, right. so there's not there's, so there's not a lot of uh, what i would call hypogeum like underground city there's not a lot of underground city in the delta valley because it would just flood it's just yeah. whoosh. but that said it's not out of possibility you didn't see any signs of that the only thing that you saw when you're in the area are the uh rivulets um oh and there probably would have been at some point somebody tried to dump their trash across the street and one of the guards yelled at them, telling them there's no trash dumping on this block. Go dump it somewhere else. Because the Middle Ages, we just dump our trash in the streets. When it came to the uh, patrols, was it like they were patrolling together and walking all around the building? Or did like one of them stay near the entrance and the other one walked around? Usually it was the gun guy staying near the entrance and the other two walking around. Uh, there are gaps in their patrols that you could sneak through, but... Um... I mean, I'm playing fast and loose with the with the specs here, but no, the, whoever the gun person is, they're in charge, and they sit in front of what passes for the front door. I say passes for the front door because there's just um, there's no actual door to get onto the premises. Well, I mean, people people were dumping bodies in there, so there has to be some place where people could illegally just chuck a body in. Uh, you didn't see anybody chucking a body in while you were watching. My research shows. Um. If you were to chuck a body in there, you'd either have to hurl it over the wall. Not impossible. Uh, the wall itself is only about uh, three paces. Uh, the, the wall itself is only about two, maybe three paces tall all around. A running jump and a scrabble could get you over it. The hard part would be getting a corpse over it. But the other thing is you didn't see any entrances in or out of the windowless structure. But Donovan swears you saw somebody in there. And that they were in there for a while and then left. So either they live there, or they somehow got in and out through a route you didn't observe. How do you see somebody in there with no entrances? Uh, as I mentioned, the tower itself, uh, when it goes up, uh, it, it's like there, there's a roof to the tower, but then there's a hole in the roof that exposes the story underneath it. So it's kind of like there's an 8 by 8 pace square at the top that has a 6 by 6 pace hole in it. This is consistent because from what you what you know of your reading of Towers of Silence, that's how they're laid out. You're either supposed to lay the people out on the top floor on those ledges, or you lay them slightly underneath in another room that's basically like a solarium under it. That's just how they did it. Guys, we just need to get in there. I'm either saying we just sneak in over the wall during a hole in the patrol, or you do get a 
Right, because all of you did all that observation, I will give you a D8 bonus to your uh, speed and stealth to try and get over the wall. Oh, sorry, speed, climbing, and stealth. Oh, I, and I did say it was low enough so you could jump over it, so speed, climbing, jumping, and stealth. But and you, if there there's is a no ground level entrance, and the only uh, windows are on the second story... It's not even the tower itself doesn't have any windows. It just has an open top. Yeah, but there's a wall surrounding it. We can get over the wall and then figure out the next step from there. Once you get over the wall, none of you actually got over the wall to see what was inside. The tower itself might have entrances on the first floor. Ah, okay then. That makes sense. My bad. I should have said that. But it, but well, it's windowless it itself. Seen that at the very least, I suppose. Yeah. And when I say speed climbing, jumping, and stealth, if you're a flyer, it's speed, weather sense, and stealth. Yeah. I got my fine roll. Okay, so if, if the three of you want to sneak in, you could go ahead and do that. Yeah. One second. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three successes, you said, was necessary? Okay, right. So I'm. what I just heard was that you guys decided to... Eldritch goes, you know, the next day, goes back to the to the place, runs up and jumps over the wall. Yeah, no, I was uh, urging them the entire time, and then the next right. day I that, said, that's... that's it, going for it. All right, and uh, you have, do you have any favor for that? Uh, sure. Let's see. Uh, what uh, skill are you actually, actually, no, because I have no marks in any of those. That's all... Right. That's all Fox. Yeah. Okay, so the next day I says, this will be easy, and jumps over the wall. Uh, what are the, are the other two going to try? Yeah, just give me a second. I, I think red foxes actually have digging, not climbing. Yeah. All right. So Donovan, you only have two successes. Uh, do you have a favorite use in stealth or a favorite use in weather sense? Uh, I don't yet. Do Do you have skill in either of those? Because you actually yes, have skill I do. Marks. Okay. Weather sense, absolutely stealth. Yes. Okay. Well, you could choose stealth, specializing uh, in. Oh Garth wait, no. I do have a specialization weather sense magic. <laughs> right, so you can't use that. So for stealth, you could choose um, uh, you know, with guards. That's honestly a pretty good one. Alright. Um, urban could also be one, technically. You could also choose urban, which means it doesn't apply when you're in the wilderness. I'll definitely go urban. I'm, I'm a city bird. Alright. So let's re-roll re one, one. Four and see how that goes. It probably won't succeed. Could be a four. Who knows? It is. Oh, hey, you swoosh and land in the courtyard without being seen. This leaves the assassin. You know, if the assassin's the one that gets caught, we're all gonna point and laugh. <laughs> uh, you decide to invade on the on the part that you think is the blindest. The wall itself is slightly irregular. It's been repaired recently, but you find a a, a lower point in the wall to jump over, and also as far away from gun guy as possible. Oh yes, I succeeded. Actually. Ah. Quite in fact, you're already in there when the other two guys show up. Wait, how? When? Uh, no, you don't want no questions. Never mind. I, I hate children. <laughs> I used to. <laughs> I used my secret. Okay. Right. Once you're inside, you may make rolls of mind and searching. You may get a bonus d12 if you have tracking. Let's see, mind and searching. Here we go. I guess I'm just doing mine. The first thing you'll notice when you go over the wall, and it's a good thing you rolled three successes, is people have been throwing their garbage in here. There's not a lot of it, but you know, but no one comes in here either. So there is garbage here, and if you would like, you know, people throwing random scraps uh, and, uh, you know, other bits of leftover, the random bones of dinosaurs or fish. So if you had landed on it, it might have caused some noise. Good news. The three of you basically avoided that. Yay. <clears throat> like how Griff has a 13. We both have a D6. Now well, Griff is rolling. Oh, this is two successes. Yep, that's two. Right. Most of you have one success. This is which means you'll look at this and go, well, this is garbage. Donovan, however, has two successes, which means he will notice that, wait a minute, uh, in this garbage here, this isn't a fish bone. This is a finger talon bone from some sort of canine. From from a person. Dun, 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 no, other people dun. have succeeded in getting corpses over the wall. That's for sure. Right, but it's only a it's a small piece that 
that uh, that casuals with only one success would have missed. Ah, uh, yes. Social disorder in this world where you have like no like uh, master urgency roots. towards like you know other species. Like it's so divided that you just don't see other species <laughs> as sentient beings. That you just don't care the shit if they're dead or not. The, there is inside here. There's the tower itself, and there's an add-on. What might have been a side building on the tower. It's mostly collapsed down to its foundations. It uh, has. Um, it might have been a wooden structure at some point, but now it's just like a little square that leads to a uh, doorway uh, that would lead into the. Um, and I say a doorway that would lead into the place itself. Instead of what should be there is not a door, but a wooden palisade. Uh, like it, it's basically somebody uh, boarded it up, but since they can't, uh, yeah, and I guess they would have some boards nailed into the stone. If you wanted to get into this doorway, you would have to somehow remove this barricade without making a lot of noise, mm -hmm. or you just fly up onto the roof and hope nobody sees you. The tower itself is about uh, four stories tall because it has to be tall because it's a tower. It's been plastered over on the outside, so normally it would be smooth, but no one maintains it, so there is a lot of uh, good handholds. Climbing up the tower itself would have to be a roll, uh, once again, uh, another roll of speed climbing and stealth. I would give you a bonus D8 because you already came in here uh, and I've already reconnoitered the place, but it's a pretty tricky climb. It looks like it would be at least two successes and possibly three. And I don't think you brought any climbing gear with you because it would be loud. At the very least, I could fly up there. And I'm you could willing to risk it. You could also fly up there and try to drop a rope down. Uh, I don't think any of you actually... Uh, I mean, we've got two wizards and an assassin. Uh, I could assume that the assassin brought a rope. A silk rope, because it's, you know... <laughs> it, it's, all, it's nice, strong, and quiet for when you have to strangle people. Let me check. I have my inventory on a different page. Well, if you don't, um, then we're going to have to go with ground level options. Well, and, and also, you came into a place that you knew would be a tower. It, I would assume you would have, you know, I, I, I'm not the kind of GM who's that kind of a stickler. It's not that unreasonable to me that you might have brought a You have to sneak out, go and do a merchant transaction, haggle over the price, then sneak back in. You know, re reload from a state game. What you don't have are things like grappling hooks and, and proper climbing gear and pittance, because that would be expensive and loud. You were just on a ship earlier today. They were lousy with rope. Okay, sure. So we have some rope. Right. right so Donovan flies up, attach the rope, right? Now, Donovan, if you're going to fly up and not be seen, that's going to be a roll of speed, weather sense, stealth, and extra DA. All right. So let's make that roll again and see how well we do. Uh, all right. So you guys fly over the wall, look through the trash, look around a little bit, and go, all right. Uh, you, did special, you did choose urban. You may reroll 1 1. You may reroll that D8. Yep. And that's going to be really important. I'm really good at this, guys. Well, there's another option in the game, which is to try and tap into your personality. Donovan, what is your personality? I tapped it last time. No, no, it's a new day. Uh, Refresh oh, okay. once a day. All oh, right. I thought that was once an adventure. And this uh, is, a, is and this is a new adventure. It is obsessive. I want to know what's in here. Yeah, no, you guys. <laughs> I flew around this place for hours today. Gonna find out who that guy is. I will easily. I have spent. Here. Yes, I've spent hours of my life looking at a singular, unmoving building. Okay, go ahead and roll an extra d12, because it's a claimed bonus, which means you to roll it after the fact. Yay! Yay! Okay, Yay! so you're kind of climbing up, and you, uh, and like you, uh, um, you, you'll you'll hear something, uh, and you will actually hear a scrabble noise as one of the dog guys actually jumps up, and his paws appear on the top of the roof, and his head comes up, and his ears tilt. So you'll like fly back down. Stand real still, uh, half sandwich against it because you're a raven, so you're doing that weird sideways kind of look. Mm -hmm. And like the dog guy, like sniffs the air a lot. Um, I mean, he he's peering off into the darkness, but you can, you know, he's not looking at you. He's tilting his ears around. You other two guys are pretty quiet, but you have three successes, so that's enough to make him go. Eh, that's probably nothing. He drops back down, and you know, because you you remain still, it's like I must find out what this is. Fear is the mind killer. Um, then you <laughs> you will fly up to the top. Um, 
This is uh, not a crenellated tower, so there isn't, uh, normally there wouldn't be a lot of good things to tie a rope onto, and you definitely didn't bring iron spikes with you or anything. Definitely but not. the tower is slightly in disrepair, so there is a crack that you could probably reasonably try uh, and bind the rope to. Um, also, um, it smells like fresh death up here. If I had to describe anything. Ah, uh, yes. All those rotting corpses or whatever just wafting its way upwards. This was a fantastic idea. I'm so glad I spent hours of my time. You don't see. There aren't any corpses here, but that's They're what you definitely smell. definitely below. Uh, securing a rope is going to be a roll of body, craft, and vehicles. Oh, wow. That's something I only have a D4 for. This will be hilarious, and you already used your obsessed personality. That I did. Watch as I, like, magnificently drop the rope. Hey, 25% chance of success. Or not. Drop the rope? No, because uh, it's not a botch. Mm -hmm. You can't find anything to tie the ropes onto, so um, you can just try and help somebody climb up. Who's going to climb up next? I'll go. All right, so the person who's going to climb up next, you need to make your roll of speed, climbing. And are you going to uh, claim an assist bonus from Donovan? Because if you do claim it, the only way he can't find anything to tie the rope onto, Donovan, you're going to have to hold the rope and use your body to help them climb up. Oh, no. You're yeah. doomed. I'd like the help. All right, so speed, uh, climbing, stealth, and a bonus E8. And Griffin, uh, Donovan, I want you to roll your body. <laughs> he are, you, are you a team player? No, I'm not. All right. So I automatically fail before the roll. Uh, no. Uh, well, all right. So go go ahead and roll anyway, uh, Eldritch. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. You're going to start climbing up because you wanted to get the bonus. And when you're halfway up, Donovan is sitting there holding on to us with his raven claws, uh, thinking about, man, I love reading books. Reading books and solving formulas is awesome. Man, I, maybe I should have spent more time in you know, gym class and, oh, my grip is slipping, no! Oh, uh, yes, the Dunwazer gym class. How could I forget? <laughs> yes, <Dodgeball laughs> consisting of a bunch of pasty wizards going out in the face. <laughs> Yeah, today's dodgeball game was canceled. Yet another draw. Um, <laughs> All but, combatants have been uh, incapacitated. Yeah, so what's going to happen is uh, he couldn't find anything to tie it to, so he tries to hold the rope. He lets go of the rope, and um, Eldritch, the good news is when the rope gives way, you manage to, uh, in foxy fashion, dig your claws into the wall uh, and do a slow fall and not take any damage. Okay? Yep. That's the good news. The bad news <laughs> is the noise that you make when you scrape and go down the tower. Uh, that was a suspicious noise. What, um, all right, so Donovan, you're on the roof, uh, and the two of you are in the courtyard. That was a noise and, and might have alerted someone. What are you going to do? I'm just going to hide back behind one of those crenellations for a moment. Well, or so, so Donovan ducks down the tower and hide. Donovan, I need a roll of mind, stealth, and a bonus d8. What are the other two guys going to do? That's what we call failing forwards. Yeah, what, what, the, the, the two of you, what are you going to do? Are you going to hide? Are you going to take I an mean, attack position? Do I see someone sticking their head up over the wall's edge? or? You just made a loud noise. Do you want to go to ground, or do you want to be ready to deal with somebody if they appear over the wall? Or do you want to do something else? I mean, first thing that comes to mind would be repairing the horror spell. Okay, so so you you make a weird noise. You go, screw it, and you start preparing a spell. So you get into a combat stance. What are you going to do, um, Ada? Stealth. Okay, so you go to ground. Okay, that's going to be a roll of mind because you don't know if anyone saw that or not, and stealth. Okay, I wasn't on the rope, so... Oh, well, I'll give you a bonus D8 then because you're nowhere near this guy. Yeah. That's three successes. Okay. I mean, you're fine. 
Yeah, fuck these guys. I'm just gonna okay. hide. With three successes, you're gonna be pretty lucky because um, somebody, um, there's gonna be like a pause, and you guys can, with your keen ears, you can hear noise. It sounds like kind of rushing footsteps, uh, and, and then um, it sounds like two. Like, like, so I want you to imagine like Eldritch is in the courtyard, sitting there staring. Uh, it, you know. He, he's backlit in the moonlight, but his eyes are wide and dilated like night vision. Uh, and he has his fingers in a strange little pose as, uh, is horror a um, mystic spell or is it just a regular spell? Yeah, it's mystic. All right, so your fingers are in a weird pose, but only those with supernatural can detect the menacing indent um, uh, behind that. Uh, and then, uh, after a little bit of pause, you will hear, um, uh, a, like, the sound of two guys doing, uh, Rochambeau. One, two, three. Damn it. And whoever lost, uh, vaults over the wall. <laughs>